So here we are back in Unity at last um, and let's get our newly modified Daz character in here and start setting him up. So first things first, let's give ourselves a bit of structure to this. So I'm going to create a folder called G8M in there, a new folder called RAW. It's where all our source stuff comes and in the RAW folder we're going to create two more. We're going to create a textures folder and we're going to create a materials folder. Okay, if you want to be messy, just bring it all straight into the root, but I like to stay organized. So, we've got our folder structure set up. Let's bring our guy in. So, back into Blender, I'm going to say File, Export, FBX, um, and let's just take a quick look at the settings here. So, in the main view, um, I just want to deselect everything apart from the armature and the mesh. So, I'm just getting that out. And geometries, that looks fine. Armatures, let's not add any leaf bones. So, let's switch that off. And animation shouldn't make any difference. That's all good. So, nothing much should change there. Just what I'm exporting and this add leaf bones thing. Uh, again, it may be worth making a preset for this. So here we are in my folder structure. I've got G8M, RAW, and let's just put it in the RAW folder. Export, and there we go. Okay, so back into Unity. That's importing. There we go. Let's just drop it in the scene and have a look at what we've got. So let's bring ourselves around here. Uh, let's swizzle this light round so we've got a bit of a better view and I don't like it straight from the top I like a bit more of a midday effect or a sunset effect so here we go our characters in there there's obviously no textures on there at all if we open it up we can see all of our separate meshes so we can start bringing our textures in and setting this character up so as you saw before, for our textures, we need to go to Daz, and we need to find in one of the body items, so Genesis Mail, Surfaces, and pick any body part, and find something that has a texture on. Okay, so I'm going to click on that little texture button, and hit Browse, and this will give me the path to where the textures are held, so I'm going to right click and copy that, open up a normal browser, and... I'm going to paste it into there. Okay, so this gives me my actual textures. Let's get rid of Daz. So I'm going to copy all of these textures for our character into our textures folder. And there we go. So now there's one set we're missing, which is for the underwear. So same process again. I'm actually going to open up. Um, well, I don't need to open that up, do I? I can look in here, you can see we've got the briefs there, so let's open those, head into the briefs, find, let's have a look in base, find something that has a texture on, and use that browse button to find the path. So we'll copy that, we can get rid of Daz again now, and we'll put that into our bar at the top here, and go, and you can see there's some other textures in here but I just need these briefs ones now you'll notice the briefs actually do have a normal map and a roughness map so this set up slightly differently for a different shader um, I'm not going to panic about that now but you may want to do a bit of texture conversion uh, let's drag these into our textures folder and we're ready to go all right so the next thing uh, let's extract our materials from the model so we can start just making sure that this looks correct. So I'm going to pick my model um, and I'm going to, in the materials tab, hit extract materials and point it towards our materials folder. Uh, hit that and it should process that and create a list of materials for us. There we go. Okay, so we're ready to start getting our textures onto here and making sure that they look correct. Let's build the face texture. That's probably the most obvious one uh, that we can have a look at. So let's just move up to the face. Just to make sure I'm not getting any conflict, I'm going to select all of the items in uh, this model apart from Unified, and I'm going to turn them off. So I'm just seeing the single base mesh there. So let's pick the face material, 
Um, now, this is set up for using a specular shader. So I'm just going to change my shader from standard to standard specular. In fact, I'm going to pick all of them. I'm going to change them all to standard specular. Okay, so let's go back to my face. So we're ready to put some of these textures in. Let's find the, the face diffuse. There it is. So you can see face map D. So we'll pop that in. And we can see that appears nicely. Now, um, the next one I would like to put in is this normal map, but it doesn't exist at the moment. If we look at this um, normal map here, which is a bump map, there it is, we need to convert this to make it work correctly. Now, the way we do this is we say uh, this is a normal map and create from grayscale. Now, that gets us part of the way there, but if we apply that, you'll see we get this horrendous nasty noisy bump map so this is no good this will make his face look like a mountain so um, what we've got to do is change this bumpiness scale and I found with these textures you might want to play with it um, 0 0.004 let's not put two decimals in there uh, 0 0.004 works really well so if I press apply we get a much more subtle bump map if we apply that now so let's select our face material and put that onto the normal map slot you should see a very very subtle effect we start to get creases in the lips here again if you're not happy with that I can let's wind that up a little bit let's say 0 0.005 maybe and you should see a little bit more again just tricky to see what will really make that pop is the specular so um, let's bring that specular map in so again, that's our diffuse, that's our um, normal map done. Let's have a look at the specular. Now again, this is not ready to use as it is. So um, we need to just do a little fiddle with this. We need to say the alpha source is from grayscale. And let's say alpha is transparency and hit apply. This is because specular is based on the alpha values. So if we head back into our face material, and in our specular we put our um, face map into there now you should see we get some nice specular effects particularly on the lips here um, let's just give that light a swizzle around and you should see we get a lot of detail in the creases under the eyes the eyebrows up here this looks really good so we start to get so those materials used very very nicely with our standard shader okay that looks good um, so that effectively is it we need to go through every body part so let me just stress this is only for the body parts the eyes the eyebrows sorry the eyelashes are a little bit different so we'll deal with them in a moment but um what might make this easier is if i just pull this project pane down here and put it into two column layout just so i can see my textures um so first of all let's process these bump maps so that's all of these lighter ones here so i'm going to select this one uh, that's for the arms there is one here for the eyes there's one for we've obviously done the face there's one for the uh, legs one for the teeth and one for the torso so just the same thing we're going to say it's a normal map create from grayscale and put this down let's keep this the same so 0 0.005 we went to let's hit apply okay that's them done um, and let's process these um, specular maps so let's have the arms the uh, legs and the torso and again with this one we said input from grayscale alpha is transparency apply okay so that's them created so let's go back to one column i'll get rid of this pop it back over here just makes it a bit easier to see in that particular view so we can now start going through all of the the skin meshes rather than um the eye of the cornea and things like that and we'll start adding our materials okay so i'll speed this up you obviously know what to do
Okay, so that's all of the body maps on, and uh, if you hunt around your object, you should see it looks uh, very nice. You've got a nice skin texture on there. Um, we can get right up close, and it looks really good. Okay, so um, let's have a look at some of these other textures. Let's have a go at the eyelashes. So again, we'll uh, pop the eyelashes on. You'll see this is set to transparent at the moment, so this has been brought in. Um, you'll find that that isn't the way forward, but let's give it a whirl anyway. Uh, so let's take our eyelash, albedo, pop that on, and nothing much shows up because we've actually switched it off. So let's turn the eyelash model back on. And straight away our transparency does nothing to that material. Again, this is because the texture isn't set up correctly, so let's select the eyelash material and again let's say the alpha source is grayscale hit apply and again let's try this alpha is transparency i just like to see it as a preview in here and you can see we're almost there but we get this slight hint of outline of the geometry which i don't want so to get rid of that i'm just going to change my eyelashes instead of transparent turn it into a fade material and you can see they're picking up the color from uh, the albedo color here we can change that to white so we can tint them whatever we want and you can see that that works nicely as we move around the color wheel so that's going to be really handy for in Uma we can modify our eyelash colors um, instead of white let's just move these back down here somewhere for now okay so they look good that's our eyelashes in um, let's have a look at these this cornea so at the moment this is a film over the eyes um, it's completely opaque so let's change this into a transparent material now we want this to be transparent so it catches the light let's turn the alpha right down um, and turn the specular up and in the preview here we want to see some sort of little light catching this is how the eyeballs will glint now we can't see anything at the moment because the eye underneath still hasn't been textured so Let's have a look at that and we'll come back and play with this cornea in a moment. So the eyes themselves, let's put the texture maps on there. Again, there's a diffuse. Lovely. And there should be an eyes normal map we created. So you can see how that glint on that cornea uh, just brings it out, especially if we just shift this light around. You can see we got a really nice effect going on there. Okay. So, uh, that's looking pretty good, I think, I think that's it. There is this eye moisture thing, um, which we've got eye tear. Let's turn that on, and you can see it's this strange thing here, uh, which again, I tend to, if you want to use it, it may be something that uh, you don't want to add to an Uma, but if you want to use it again, this wants to be a transparent, and just pull that transparency down to whatever you want. Um, and get some specular up so it catches the light very difficult to see up to you whether you want to play with that but I think if we have a look at our materials that should be everything apart from the briefs okay let's turn them on briefs switched on again this has a slightly different material so this wants to actually uh, use this standard roughness setup um, I don't want to. I want to use a specular setup with this as well. The reason being, I want them all the same material. So when this is combined by Uma, it will all be the same mesh. Um, so you may want to do some texture fiddling. There's lots of programs that can process textures for you, but for now I'm going to cheat. So we'll put the, the base color of the briefs in here. Um, the normal map is already a normal map, so we don't have to fiddle with it. The only thing is it isn't tagged as one, so let's fix that. Again, I don't think there's very much data on there. We are missing a specular map, but when we convert this into an Uma, we'll create our own to just sit in there, blank specular map. All right, so there we have um, a DAS model into Unity, ready to rock with the textures all processed and looking nice. So. This will really bring a high quality character into Uma. Um, we're all split up, we're all ready to go. Um, in the next episode, I'm actually going to go through turning this into a new model. But if you've watched 301, um, I think you already have a good idea how that's going to happen. 
So uh, maybe give it a go and I'll see you in the next episode. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.